Hi friends. Today we will look into the basic overview of an electrical substation. Substations are the vital part of an electrical transmission and distribution system. Mostly substations are used for changing the level of voltage at various points in the grid. Based on the function substations are classified into different types. Generating substation. Transmission substation. Distribution substation. Converting substation. Switching substation. First of all, we'll see the working of generating substation. Generating substation collects power from a generating power plant and converts it into the voltage level optimum for transmission. Usually electricity is generated in lower voltages compared to the transmission voltages. After generation, voltage is stepped up to a higher value to reduce the transmission loss. Transformer is the equipment used for this voltage level conversion. Usually all the generating station will have an associated substation. The generally the generated voltage in a generator will be in the range of 10-20 kV, this level of voltage is not economical for long distance transmission. The reason for this is that, if the voltage is less then the current will be more and vice versa. As the current flow in conductor increases the heat loss on the conductor will be more. The electricity from the power station will be raised to a level of hundreds of kilovolts, thus by reduce the heat loss during transmission. Next we'll see the functioning of a transmission substation. Transmission substation is the part of the electrical transmission system. Transmission system carries power to very long distances, generally in hundreds to thousands of kilometers. As explained earlier, Transmitting power to very long distances require higher voltage levels. This stepping up of voltages is done in different levels according to the transmission distance. Consider a generator producing electricity at a level of 11 kV and this electricity has to be transmitted to the consumer at 1000 km away. This is then stepped up to a higher voltage level say 220 kV. This voltage conversion is done using a transformer, and such a transformer is the major component of any voltage converting substation or transmission. If you want to know more about transformers, go through the link I have provided in the description. Distribution substation. These substations converts the high voltage electricity coming from the transmission system to a low voltage level. Electricity at a voltage level suitable for end users is fed from distribution substations. Just like the voltage stepping up transmission substation also uses transformers, but it functions just in the opposite way, by reducing the voltage. From a higher level to lower level. Next we'll see working of a converting substation. Converting substation uses huge power electronic devices to modify the form of electricity. For example, nowadays high voltage DC transmission systems is used for very high distant power transmission. But the generating power is in the form of alternating current. This needs to be converted to HVDC by using huge rectifier which converts AC to DC. After transmission this HVDC needs to be converted back to AC using huge inverter and the same is done in a converting substation. Similar substations are used in traction systems, when there is requirement for DC or special AC waveforms than the usually generated AC power. Switching substation. Switching substation is used to direct the flow of power from different sources to different consumers to balance the generation and consumption. Equipment which routes the electricity flow in the substations are the switch gears. By turning on the proper switch gears the power flow can be controlled through desired path. Today we have looked into the basics of a substation, mainly the different types of substations. Hope the content is useful for you, post your comments. Thank you.